so much, Colton. Well, there's no doubt that Studio 10 loves our small businesses and want to continue seeing them grow. And there is a major opportunity for that that will happen. And earlier this week, Rochelle learned about an upcoming conference that will help small business owners truly make it in Michigan. Take a look. Well, you know, we love <laughs> Michigan and all of its local products and businesses. So we couldn't be more excited that they're all coming together for a Making It in Michigan event this month. And joining us right now from the MSU Product Center is Molly Woods. How are you this afternoon? I'm great, Rochelle. How are you? I am doing great because we're in good company with you, <laughs> but also with all of these Michigan-made products. And I have to say, we see a few Studio 10 alumni on yes. the table as well. But before we get into these products, let's talk about this great event that includes an education conference, a trade show, and pitch competition. It's a three in one. But uh, first, let's start with the conference. What can we expect to learn? So the conference is a really great opportunity for people who are interested in starting a business, who are just maybe thinking about it, but want to hear experiences of other people who have yeah. been through it, and also hear from some of their customers. So we'll have panels of buyers from both small and large retailers, distributors okay. who are really important in the food distribution process in the state, and then also some bigger companies who've kind of made it to stage two who will talk about what that's like for brand new entrepreneurs. I love that, that you get a chance to hear from people on both sides. You get to hear the trials and yes. the triumphs from everyone as well. That sounds so exciting. Yes. But on top of that, now let's talk about the trade show. What does that exactly include? So I'm so excited that to be here and talk about the trade show. It is a great opportunity for Michigan made products to feature their products in front of buyers and the public. For a lot of our clients, it's the very first trade show that they've attended. Okay. Usually to go to a national trade show, it's five or $10,000 for a booth. Right. Our booth is under $300. It's a really um, low cost opportunity uh, and high value opportunity for them to get their products in front of buyers uh, to maybe get picked up into distribution. Well, there will be tons of vendors there. And right here, we're just touching the surface. Uh, but can you talk about a few of the vendors that'll be there? Absolutely. Um, so all of these products that you see here are people that we've worked with mm -hmm. within the product center. They're from all over the state of Michigan. And you can find some of them locally in the capital city Meyer, or even in Meyer or Fresh Time, as well as at the MSU Dairy Store. We feature a lot of our clients' products there. And for many of them, it's their first start into sales. So a really great product that I love mm -hmm. and um, I had to keep myself from eating is Hummus <laughs> Goodness. So this is a woman owned company okay. um, out of Southeast Michigan. Wow. And uh, it's truly hummus with olive oil, lemon juice, um, chickpeas and yeah. some flavorings and that's it. You know, um, very clean, good product. I also love Downey's Potato Chips. Mm -hmm. um, they're from Waterford, Michigan family-owned business. Mm -hmm. uh, their particular chips are fantastic. Uh, and um, they have been a company that's seen a lot of growth and we've mm -hmm. kind of helped them through that growth. So this is something actually you can pick up at the dairy store as well. And some Kroger's and Meyers throughout the state. I love um, that. I love, if you like cocktails, this is a great product. You can make your own custom infused cocktail. I'm from Grand Ledge and um, the, the woman who owns this business okay. is originally from Grand Ledge too. So it's nice to have that hometown connection and they're made here, their jobs here. Now, another component, of course, of this conference are is the pitch competition. Yes. Tell us what opportunities are available for people there. So the pitch competition, the competitors are set and there's going to be a cash award for you know first, second, and third place. And we're doing that in partnership with the Michigan Good Food Fund and the Center for Regional Food Systems. And their goal is to support entrepreneurship, but to do that in some disadvantaged communities. So mm -hmm. our BIPOC communities um, for business owners owners who maybe are minorities, they, they kind of get a leg up through that program. That is amazing. And yeah. there is so much here for people who are attending, for people who are businesses. And again, uh, just for anyone who wants to be a part of this. So can you just tell us again, how can we all be a part of this and give us a date for this conference? Absolutely. So it's April 24th at the Lansing Center right here in Lansing. Um, actually, the trade show is open to the public. So if you'd like to come okay. and walk the trade show, see some of the products that are out there, sample those products, we welcome the public. And that is awesome. And all that information is right there at the bottom of your screen. <laughs> Molly, thank you so much for just all the work that you're putting into this conference and for just sharing all of this with us today. Thank you, thanks Thank for you. the time.